Dear Memorian fans, this is Volker, the developer of this amazing and function-rich flashcard app. Today, let's tackle the nuts and bolts of multi-level stacks and how their properties propagate. While cards define the stack content and their learning history, stacks define the appearance, asking direction, languages, sorting and more properties of the cards within each stack. Stacks can contain substacks as well, up to five levels deep. Substacks are also called child stacks. This helps to organize larger card databases more efficiently. For example, to keep languages separate, to have multiple asking directions, or to split cards into categories and subcategories. You can think of this like folders and files in the file system of your computer. The stacks being the folders and the cards being the files. Since the stacks define the asking direction, not the cards, this concept is ideal for multi-directional learning. More about this in the mapping and themes video. The cards in this neighboring stacks can have family connections. There is a whole video about this as well. Many of these properties can be inherited from the parent stack to the sub stacks, helping to keep the behavior of whole stack trees consistent. Let's do an example. Let's set the background color of cards for a hierarchy of stacks. This can be done on the expert configuration page. In this schematic, stacks 1 to 3 have blue backgrounds, stack 4 a green one. Note a detail in the fonts. The property of stack 1, 3 and 4 is written in bold. In Memorium, this is set to signify that this color is set explicitly in these stacks. On the other hand, the color of stack 2 is written in italics, set to signify this value is inherited from the parent stack. If we now change the color of the parent stack 1 to orange, stack 2 will follow while stacks 3 and 4 will not, since here the color is set explicitly. Typically, most value in the sub stacks are inherited. So you only need to change the parent stack to get a consistent change throughout the stack tree. Please note the mnemonic. Inherited is written in italics, both starting with an I. This italic and bold symbolism is employed throughout the expert configuration page. Whenever you set a value explicitly, it will change to bold. You can also see the change in the preview. Vice versa, to make it inherited, long tap it. To avoid unexpected behavior when you copy paste stacks within the hierarchy, all values in the topmost of the pasted stacks are set there explicitly. They appear in bold. Subscribe to this channel and share my videos with your friends. When you access these videos through Memorion, you will gain Friends of Memorion points. Thanks for watching and enjoy Memorion to the fullest.